Before we get into this video, I don't know who did it because it didn't say where it came from. But I really appreciate somebody. They, they sent a Hollywood Brown jersey straight from the Ravens official store. They sent it to our P.O. box. So whoever you are, uh, hopefully you see this. I appreciate you. Thank you for being willing to do that. Whoever it was. Thank you. Seriously, man. Y'all are. Uh, that was special, man. Even though it's a throwback now. But nah, I, I really appreciate that uh, a lot. Yeah, this feels like a dream. You ever been just down, bad, uh, things are going rough, you're, you're in unfamiliar territory, um, and you just feel like, man, like, I just ain't got it right now, so I gotta do some things out of the ordinary to get it. That's how I feel like the Ravens are doing with this whole Justin Houston thing right now, because this is literally the first time I have ever heard of anything like this. But when I saw the breakdown, it made it make sense. So the Ravens are like, they brought Justin back, kind of. They brought back Justin Houston, like, kind of, sort of. But let's explain it because this thing is just crazy. All right. So first it came out from Phil Yates. He said the Ravens and the Chiefs, well, copycat league. But anyway, the Ravens and the Chiefs both applied the seldom used unrestricted free agent tender on outside linebacker Justin Houston and Melvin Ingram. So we ain't worried about the Chiefs, but for the Ravens, they use the uh, unrestricted free agent tender on Justin Houston. Like I told y'all, I had never heard of it before. I don't know if any of y'all have ever heard of it before, but I didn't know what that was. So I was like, okay, let me wait for the follow up. Uh, so Phil Ye said, this means that if Justin Houston signs with a new team, before July 22nd or before the first day of training camp, whichever comes later, they would count towards the compensatory formula. So whichever the later date of the two, either July 22nd or the first day of training camp, uh, and Justin Houston signs with the team prior to that date, prior to July 22nd or prior to the first day of training camp, then the Ravens would get a comp pick for him. These boys, these Ravens, y'all know, like, this offseason, they have been down on comp picks. They are in very unfamiliar territory and uncomfortable territory when it comes to comp picks because ain't nobody qualified for one. We used to the Ravens being one of the top comp pick teams, but this year they got none, zero. None of their free agents that left are going to, going to qualify them for a compensatory pick. So Ravens was probably thinking, like, Man, <laughs> what happened? What happened? So they went to the depths, the depths of that NFL rule book, and they said, we got to find something, man, because we got to get a comp pick, man, somehow, some way. All right, this is our last resort, Justin Houston. Somebody decided they want to sign Justin Houston before training camp or before July 22nd. We'll get a comp pick, but if not, hey, then he'll just stay with us. Okay, so that's cool. Now, um, and it says if they don't sign by then, then Baltimore, they have the exclusive negotiating rights. Again, I never heard of anything like this before, um, but to break it down even more, specifically for the Ravens, and shout out to Brian McFarlane. Y'all already follow him on Raven Salary Cap on Twitter. Love his stuff because he makes a lot of blurry stuff. He clears it up quick. Anyway. He said, it is a rarely used option, usually because uh, unrestricted free agents are already signed or the tender is still too much. Uh, both Houston and Ingram, however, signed in a pandemic reduced cap season. So they are cheaper than normal. Oh, OK, I get what he's saying with that. So like with the tender, even with their salaries, uh, since the salary cap was still down. When did Justin Houston sign? Since the salary cap was still recovering from when Melvin Ingram signed, um, then they are cheaper than they normally would be if the salary cap was regular. See, so, okay, it's, this is like a learning process that we all going through together. Well, only us that don't know anything about this. If y'all already know about it, cool, but 
like I told you, I don't know nothing about this. Um, so he said, the tender comes in with a 10% raise over 2021. So that's a nice little raise for somebody. Uh, he said, so Houston's tender for 2022 would be 2.2825 mil. So about 2.3 mil, if we just go around it to, to make the numbers a lot more simple. Um, so the Ravens, if, if Justin Houston does not sign with anybody else, then the Ravens will get him back this year for about 2.3 mil. Justin Houston, good, really good run defender. And this, it makes sense. Like Tyus Bowser coming back from Achilles. David Ajabo, who you just drafted, he's dealing with Achilles. Dalen Hayes, young guy, still unknown. You saw some potential there, especially in that preseason, but still unknown. Uh, Adafe away, yo. Um, but. Uh, it's a lot of question marks. So bringing Justin Houston back, that makes sense. Makes sense. Because uh, you just, you rather be safe than sorry. And you want to be overprepared. And I don't even think at edge and outside linebacker and whatnot, the Ravens are necessarily overprepared. Oh, there's Malik Harrison too. Not sure what they're going to do with him yet. If he's going to be inside or outside linebacker, we'll see. S super early. It's only May. It's only May. So a lot of this stuff is definitely not determined yet. But anyway... Um, Brian McFarlane followed that up and he said, this does two things mainly. Number one, it extends the comp pick window till July 22nd. <laughs> and it's funny, timing is everything. Today, well, I'm recording this uh, on May 2nd and it is 10.08 p.m. But y'all are going to be seeing this on May 3rd sometime in the morning, maybe like 10.30 in the morning. Who knows? But anyway, um, so as of yesterday... For when you're watching this So I just use the dates As of May 2nd At 4pm That's when the comp pick formula That's when any unrestricted free agents that you sign They didn't count against the comp pick formula anymore After 4pm So if uh, They didn't count against it But uh, after that you, you, So you can sign You're free to sign anybody who you want to And you if you got a bunch of comp picks Then you won't lose any If you sign them after 4pm on May 2nd uh, But the Ravens Timing is everything Because just so happened on May 2nd, this is what they come up with for Justin Houston. Boy, these Ravens, boy, they be finding their ways around stuff, man. I ain't mad at it, though. I ain't mad. But uh, anyway, so he did say this does two things mainly. One, he said it extends the comp pick window until July 22nd. And two, if he does not sign elsewhere by July 22nd, he can only, he can only sign with the Ravens. It's like, they like, all right, Houston, try us if you want to. They, it's like they not holding them hostage, but it's like, whoa. Hey, you, you issue a tender on a on a, on an older veteran. Like, whoa. He probably like, man, I've been playing all these years. I finally became a free agent a couple years back, and now y'all do me like this? What? Nah, I'm sure he's cool with it. Anyway, uh, so he can only sign with the Ravens. Either for the tender amount or an amount higher as agreed upon by the player and team. So the tender amount, that 2.3 mil, uh, again, it's a little lower than 2.3 mil, but that 2.3 mil, that is the minimum. I do like that part for the player now. Um, that is the minimum. So it's like, all right, I'm either signing that 2.3 or it has to be higher than that. That is the minimum that they can sign him for. Anything other than that, got to be more bread. So shout out to the player. Um, but yeah, so this was nice to learn about this because again, I had never heard of it before. I did not know anything about it. I was not familiar with it. It was uncomfortable territory for me, but that's why I appreciate when people could break stuff down the way that they can so they can explain it to all of us in simple terms. So in the future, we can explain it to somebody else. So reach one, teach one. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. Um, and again, Whoever sent this Hollywood Brown jersey, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Seriously, you are very special, whoever you are, uh, and you're even more special for doing it anonymously. Is anonymously a word? I think it is. Well, you're special for doing it anonymous. So shout out to you. I appreciate that, but please reveal yourself. Send me a message or a DM or something. Send me something to let me know so I can actually thank you directly. So I appreciate you. Love y'all. We out.